Good morning. This was posted uh, on the website today, so I thought I would go over the details of the analysis. Uh, pressure regulated volume control mode of ventilation with targeted tidal volume of 200 nL, PEEP of 8 on 100% FIR2 with a rate of 12. You can see on the pressure over time curve, PEEP of 8, patient initiates breath here, and then the machine's intention would be to give 200 nL. The pressure that is used is based on feedback mechanism from the previous breath. It goes up to around probably 14 or 15. It says 13 here. At the end of inspiration, goes down to around 13. With this pressure, you can see the inspiratory flow goes up to maximum inspiratory flow and then decelerates. As a result of this flow, you can see the volume goes up from zero up to 200 and it is maintained at 200 for the duration of inspiration. The flow goes down to zero because 200 is delivered. Now, expiration starts here, expiratory flow, and the volume is exhaled. You can see the volume goes down and then plateaus here. Before the next breath, it recalibrates to zero, meaning that we inhaled 200 here. However, exhalation was probably around 60 to 70. It says, it says here 64, inspiratory tidal volume 194 of the last breath. So that indicates that there is leak of around 130 uh, ml. At the same time, take a look here, area under the curve of the flow over time, inspiratory area under the curve, much larger than the expiratory area under the curve. And you can see that there is no limitation to the flow, indicating that the time constant is very short here. You can see how short the expiration is. This is a system that has low pressures, and this is the result of the leak. So 200 in, only 65 or 70 out, and the remaining all leaked. Now, on the website, uh, at the same time, we have a chest x-ray for this patient. And this chest x-ray shows that this patient has a chest tube here. You can see it looks like either bullae or abscesses, but it looks like this is one of those ruptured and patient developed pneumothorax and they put a chest tube. Now the fact that we see this on the, uh, on the ventilator indicates uh, that this patient most likely has uh, bronchopleural uh, fistula. I would decrease the PEEP to minimum, maybe zero, and uh, minimize the pressures on the ventilator to give it more time for this bronchopleural fistula to heal. Thank you very much.